Hello everyone and welcome to the exciting announcement video for the Stream Deck XL Colorist Icon Pack. The first profile that you see here is the home profile and it contains a set of navigation keys and access to all 11 custom profiles that are included in this pack. Down the bottom you can see that there are quick navigation keys to all the different tabs in Resolve. As we navigate through these profiles here, you can see that these navigation keys remain pinned for easy access, so that even while you're in specific pages, you can still navigate using your Stream Deck XL. In the project page, we have a range of pop-up menus that can be accessed, creating new bins, importing your reference clips, adjusting timeline settings, clip settings, and even a dedicated pop-up profile for output blanking. Jumping into the edit tab, we have the navigation keys docked on the top of the display. We have a range of common editing tasks, as well as the ability to toggle panels on and off within the edit tab. On the right hand side of the panel, we have a range of helpful hotkeys to improve your editing efficiency. Jumping along to the conform tab, as we discussed, we have our navigation keys on the right hand side, a reference wipe and marker for easy sync check and note taking. On the left hand side, we've got some helpful toggles and settings, including showing your timecode overlay, swapping a reference mode, and the safe area aspect toggle, which you can see has dynamic icons. Jumping into the color profile, we have our navigation keys docked on the top. We have our six vector qualifications on the right hand side, the ability to copy and paste memories, add keyframes, show scopes, and ripple grade changes across your scene. The node profile is jam-packed, again with our navigation keys docked on the top. We have the ability to create every single node that you can think of, jumping into highlight mode, navigating through our nodes and tracking shapes, as well as the ability to toggle your viewer overlay on and off. And you can see there's a dynamic icon there as well. Printer light profiles are definitely one of the most useful and visually stunning layouts in the pack. You can see with just a quick tap of a button, we can jump between half, and quarter printer lights, and we can toggle printer lights on and off using the toggle key. We have a versioning and playback profile with the ability to create new versions, create new playheads, mark in and out, and navigate to the start and end of our timeline. The tracks profile has the ability to toggle your video layers on and off, as well as to adjust your video and audio track selectors. This is a really fun profile because as you can see, as we tap these profiles and tap these track selectors, you can see that they are dynamic icons. Not only can they be used to toggle video layers and the auto track selectors on and off, but as you do so, the Stream Deck will act as a visual guide showing you what you've toggled on and off. Go ahead and reset these here. Last but not least, we have the clip colors. If you lasso any of your clips, you can adjust them to any one of these colors here and revert them back to the original if needed. And lastly, you have your personal profile, which you can populate with whatever shortcuts you wish. I've put the client button down here, which is auto color. So if your client wants to have a go as a colorist, just tell them to push that button, good as gold. The Colorist Icon Pack for the Stream Deck XL has just been released and it's on sale to celebrate. So go to my website www.lukegrosspost.com slash store. The link is in the description below and go check that out. If you decide to purchase the product, definitely have a look at the setup guide video on my YouTube. Even though it's for the 15 key Stream Deck, all of the same principles apply. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next video.